There's a tent site that way. But I believe the trail is over here. Hey everyone, it's Silva and today I'm on a solo adventure. I'm recovering from a cold, so my voice is scratchy. <laughs> but I'm finally doing Little Bigelow. It's been on my list for years, and I've really been wanting to do it. But I'm turning it into an overnight, even though it's only gonna be, I think it's like 8.1 to the top, but I'm gonna go beyond that to the west ledges. I don't know, so maybe it's gonna be like nine, nine and a half total. But I'm gonna spend the night somewhere at the top. That way, I can go nice and slow, take my time, because my foot's still recovering, and enjoy. And apparently I'm starting off with a bang because this is not the trail. But, it's pretty, so I'm gonna go film it and then go back. And there are people in the parking lot, so I will look silly, but oh well, I'll probably never see them again. This is worth it. What a pretty sight. So the way is down this dirt road. Actually, I see the blazes. Because I know the trail I'm taking is on the AT. And now I can see that. There's my beloved AT. This is a little big one that on three miles. The access. 3.5. No, that's is 4. And far out it says 3.5, so who knows? I think we're going to start slowly climbing. That first part was pretty easy. <laughs> But it's not going to stay that way. I'm already warming up. Shelter, a little big little shelter, or a little big little lean to. There's a hundred yards this way with water. And I think I'm gonna go and uh, fill up. I haven't drank that much water, but I'm gonna fill up my filter. There's no water at the top, and I really like to camp at the top and be able to see the sunrise tomorrow morning on the east ledges. So I'm gonna get some water here. I may or may not go onto the shelter. We'll see. Looks like the water's flowing pretty fast. I don't really wanna get wet so to cross it. So we'll see, maybe I'll just get water. Decided not to cross over to the shelter. Um, there's a view, first view in 0.5. So I figured I would take a rest there instead. Um, stretch my heel at that point. I didn't really want to cross the water and get my feet all wet. But I did get extra water, another liter, just to have it. And took off my raincoat because I'm getting hot.
sun is coming out. And I'm going up. First view. Alright, I'm about to head back into the woods here, but one last look a little bit higher up. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Alright, the next mile is up. So I might take a seat here and have a rest before I go up. seven to go to get to the first ledge and then it's pretty flat after that just little ups and downs but my calves are screaming um, I'll put a picture of where I'm at and the climb right here so you can see um, the top of the mountain is pretty flat so once I get to this this point point one seven done then it's gonna be pretty easy from there on out the tops not too much further and then the ledges don't look too bad so almost to the top After you come down from the ledges, and I had walked right by it. Here's the turn right here to go to the summit. And there's supposed to be a camp spot. Let's hope so, because I don't want to go back down the rest that I came up in the dark. I'd rather do that tomorrow morning. Summit is less than half a mile away. All goes according to plan. I'll get up early enough to go back to those ledges for sunrise. But we'll see. It is 3.30 and I passed the spot that looked like a tent site. That, well, <laughs> it looks like I make it work as a tent site. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go over to the west ledges. My foot is starting to hurt and um, that's kind of a bummer, so I don't know. Um, I was thinking about setting up my tent and then just going over with 
my hiking poles and everything, but my tent uses my hiking poles, so I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure how steep it is to get to the west ledges or not. It looks like there's quite a few ups and downs, so I'd want my poles. I don't really want to keep carrying my pack because my foot's getting sore, so we'll see. There's a beautiful view I just passed, and I thought I had to keep going to get to the summit, but I'm past the summit. <laughs> there was no sign. I just kept walking. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back and hang out on the rock ledges uh, just past up this way. If I want to go over to the west ledges, it's adding another mile and a half, which isn't horrible, but my foot is hurting. So I don't really want to make it any worse. And I will be coming this way again anyway when I'm on the AT. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back and I'll hang out uh, at the ledges up there for a bit and then go set up my tent and then maybe I'll come back and have dinner on the ledges. I think that sounds nice. Oh, I was streaming. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, that sun is streaming through the clouds. It's pretty amazing. So I walked right past this. So there it is, Little Bigelow Mountain, 3,040 feet. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. All right, here's my flat spot. There is a root right there, but I hopefully I can fit it in right there. Maybe a kitty corner or something. So let's get that done. Boom, there it is. It is not set up perfect because of the root. I was trying to go around the root, so this corner is a little wonky, but because there's a stump there. But other than that, it's pretty good. I gotta find a place for my food bag and then make some dinner. Or maybe I'm gonna make dinner first. I'm pretty hungry. Letting my jacket dry. The trail is right over there. All right, decided to cook at camp because I, it's a little ways off and I didn't know where the sunset's gonna be. I didn't want to drag everything with me. I'm just making a ramen bomb. I'll probably have some nuts after, some crackers. Um, I have a protein bar if I want it. get out of the wind it was freezing and I didn't want to stay all the way to the end of the sunset because I left my headlamp back at my tent <laughs> and yeah I could use my phone light but it makes it a little more tricky so it's pretty cold out there so I think I'm gonna head back and uh, get in my tent and warm up all right everybody I am in my tent I did about 6.6 .6 miles today actually a little more than that I think uh, I got a late start and I wasn't planning to do even that much, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's just an overnighter, so I'll be heading out tomorrow. I'm hoping it's not too sketchy to head out in the dark so that I can maybe catch the sunrise. We'll see how I feel in the morning. Um, there was a few s s tricky sections coming to, from there to here, um, just one or two, so maybe it's it'll be okay. We'll see. I'm going to set an alarm and... Uh, see how I feel about it in the morning. So, hope you're all having a great night. See you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I'm getting yelled at. So, I did not make sunrise. Um, it's cloudy anyway, so I'm glad I didn't rush to do that. But, um, I woke up this morning and I, when I sat up, I got all dizzy and I thought, oh, I just sat up too fast, like you do <laughs> sometimes getting out of bed. But it didn't go away for a while. So, and when I got out to use the ladies' room, I had a hard time almost not falling over. It seems to be a lot better now. It's passing. Um, but when I was bending over to pick up my tent, it took me forever because that would make me all dizzy. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't had enough to eat. I'm going uh, to hike over to the ledges and then eat some food. And then uh, hopefully uh, I'm feeling completely better. It's just a little, just feel a little off. Like a little, <laughs> I'm stumbling a little. But I think it's okay. It got down to about 40 degrees last night, and I was fairly warm. Um, 
But in my sleeping bag, the only thing that got cold was my nose, so every now and then I'd warm it up. But other than that, it wasn't bad at all. Oh, look at that, you can see the undercast. I just had to maneuver around a tricky bit. It took me way longer than I should have. But I'm up it now. Hopefully that undercast is still there when I get to the ledges. If you notice, I changed my hat. <clears throat> um, yesterday was Sunday and there's no hunting, but today is Monday and there's um, it's both hunting season in Maine. So I figured I would just wear this. I'm not sure if there's hunting here or not because I am on the Appalachian Trail, but better safe than sorry. Had a snack, took in the amazing view as you saw, and now I'm gonna be heading down the trail. There is another view in about a little over a mile. So I'm gonna stop there and check that out as well. Just fell on my butt. It didn't hurt, thankfully. Well, not much anyway. I slipped on the rock and uh, down I went. But thankfully it wasn't very far and I didn't hit too hard. So, my goodness, it's really slow going down. I think I'm going slower going down than I did going up. It's still really wet from all the rain and the rocks and the roots, so gotta be really careful. Not to the next view, but here's a little peak. Still a bunch of undercast, so. That's cool. Also not the next view, uh, but there was a rock outcrop and I followed it and look at that. I didn't see this coming up. Still point two to the view, but here's a little view. Alright, made it to the view. The other views are just as good, so this is nice. I'm gonna sit for a minute, massage my foot. And then uh, the next half a mile is still pretty steep, it looks like. Um, I don't think it's quite as bad, but getting down off this view is a little steep. But then it's not as bad after that half mile. Look at these leaves everywhere. Oh, the smell of autumn is so nice. I forgot to tell you guys that I weighed my pack with two days of food and it was 18.7. That was without water. I meant to weigh it again, but I never did. But that's not bad, two days of food which was way more than I needed, but 18.7 pounds. We'll have to compare that to next weekend I'm going on a backpacking trip with my daughter. 
and we have to split up gear and do some different stuff because I have to use my other tent. She doesn't want to sleep alone, so um, we'll see how much it weighs then. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy undercast, seeing when you're up there and you can see the undercast beneath you. It's just so gorgeous. It makes you feel like you're on another planet almost. And so that was beautiful to see today. And then my last video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it here. Uh, I did Bald Mountain in Okwasik and there was undercast there as well. So that was nice. I got to see it a few times. So made it back to the road. Now I gotta get to the car. When I get to the car, I'm going to stretch my legs. I did get a couple leg cramps last night. They were really bad. And then my feet, I'm gonna change into my Crocs for the ride home. And uh, yeah, see you in a minute. to the car there's people waiting for parking spots so i'm gonna get out of here uh, thanks so much for following along hope you are having a great week and i'll see you in the next video now point me to the nearest dunkin donuts someone pulled in and just stopped in front of me um i'm not sure what's going on <laughs> the gentleman uh, i started to go around the back of him and then he moved up almost to the entrance so i had to kind of go around again that's what i don't know maybe he's looking something I got out, that's all that matters.